sexy day today. 98 degrees was the daily record high for today for July 28th, and that's from back in 1876. That's actually four days before Colorado's estate. So 100 today. We broke a long time record uh, in Colorado. The new record is now 100 from obviously today. So it was a toasty one for us, and we're going to stay a bit warm tomorrow. We hit 98 degrees here downtown. Obviously, that's above our normal of 90 degrees, and we stay warm as we head into Thursday. We'll talk about that in just a moment. 99 from our weather watcher couple Weldon and Carol Schneider over in Battlement Mesa. It's hot out west and it's hot out east as well. 100 right now in Ray, 102 in La Junta, 101 in Fort Collins. It's still 99 in Greeley, 98 out in Burlington, 70s to the 90s in the high country. It's not that far from Frisco to Avon, but you do get a significant temperature change there. 96 degrees in Grand Junction. Satellite and radar down in southwestern Colorado. We do have one area in San Miguel County that has a flash flood warning in place right now. We actually have had a few of these today in that southwestern part of the state, and we're going to continue to be concerned about this Thursday, Friday, and probably Saturday and Sunday as well. Up into parts of the northwest and parts of uh, Rio Blanco County over Meeker, we have a flash flood warning in place through 7 o'clock tonight. Some really intense heavy rain in this area, causing some flooding in the Meeker area. Now, across the state, a couple scattered showers as you head a little bit closer to the front range. Some rain down in Los Animas and Huerfano counties as well. So you see a couple pockets of heavy rain. And this is just kind of a teaser as we head into a very rainy stretch, especially for the western side of the state. We've been talking about this for a couple of days. You can see this dryness kind of in the middle section of the country. A lot of that is thanks to this area of high pressure. As it keeps moving east into the south, well, we are looking at that monsoon moisture to make a more pronounced comeback. So we are seeing that a bit more widespread. But this high pressure is also bringing the heat, like we talked about yesterday. Plenty of heat advisories and uh, excessive heat warnings in place for the Midwest down into the south. So for us, as that area of high pressure keeps moving, the moisture flow increases for us. So we're going to see a better chance for some storms on Thursday and Friday. But for the front range areas, really on Saturday and Sunday, we see a much better chance for some uh, big storms. And heavy flooding will be a big issue. And of course, flash flooding. So please be careful out there. Be very weather aware as we head into the weekend. So for tonight, that rain will continue for a little while longer. Tomorrow morning, you wake up to sunshine, and then we have another round of moisture coming in, mainly off to the west. There may be a few. Pops out on the eastern plains, but some of this is even late night in uh, late afternoon. So even late night tomorrow night, Moffat County down to parts of the southwest could have some pockets of heavier rainfall. We do have flash flood watches in place uh, for parts of the central uh, central part of the state down into the southwest on Thursday and Friday, and most likely throughout the weekend as well. As we do still expect heavy rain throughout the weekend. So again, be extra careful out there with uh, those uh, floodings coming uh, with those chance for that heavy rain. Of course, Glenwood Canyon has shut down so many times this summer, so something to be cautious. Up. So we continue to have air quality alerts for the Front Range down to parts of El Paso County, Route County as well, because of course of all the air pollution and the smoke that we have from the wildfires. So continuing to see that day 37 with one this summer. Temperatures tonight, you have the 60s for the Front Range in Eastern Plains, 40s, 50s in the High Country, and tomorrow. We'll take a cool down, only 97 compared to 100. Triple digits out east, 80s, 90s in the high country. And for your five day forecast, 96 on Friday. And there's that big cool down this weekend to the 70s and the 80s with a good chance of rain. Lauren, thank you. And Michael's up next.